Okay. All right, feasibility analysis. When you do a feasibility analysis, basically what you're saying is, based on the criteria of toes, that works well. Okay, based on the acronym toes, is it feasible to implement the system? And the system in this case is the website for Vanilla Cupcakery. Now, as we work through the feasibility study for technical, the questions we're asking is, does the hardware, software, connections exist to produce the system? Does the hardware exist? Now by hardware, what are we sort of looking at? We're looking at a computer to develop the site We're looking for a web server to host the site and any other hardware you think would be relevant. For instance, a digital camera in order to take photographs. That's okay, it's still part of the feasibility. Now, for the next part, Software. Does the software exist to produce the system? Namely, an operating system. Yes, you are the web developers, you have an operating system. Do you have the website design software? And it's called Adobe Web Premium. Sorry, this is writing really poorly. Some okay, it's Adobe <laughs> Web Premium. And for connections. <laughs> I can read Adobe. It has that word under there. Okay, and the last part is connections. So, do you have an internet connection? to upload the site. Now, with feasibility, if you go through those requirements and you would need to describe those elements first, and then the final key word in this is assess. Assess means to make a judgment about. Do you think that it, the system is technically feasible based on these ideals? Yes. If the answer is yes, you would state at the end of that section, based on these credentials, the system is technically feasible. All right, the next thing you would then do is talk about the organisational feasibility. Basically what this is, Will the system, and what's the system again? A website. Does it meet the organisations goals slash objectives? Does it meet the organisation's goals or objectives? And why? If you say it does, because it provides a 24-7 access to the information about the store, you would state that as a reason. What else does having a website enable the business to do? And that's a rhetorical question, you're going to answer that. But at the end of that, organisational feasibility, you need to provide an answer. Does the existence of the information system meet the organisation's goals? If so, then it's organisationally feasible to implement the site. So I've now ticked off two elements of feasibility. Is this making sense? Yeah. Okay, question. Let me just pause. The next phase is economic. What do you think economic feasibility refers to? The price. How much they want to pay. 
yet the cost of implementing the system. Now, well, it's not so much hard because there's a bit of hypothetical stuff here. Hypothetical means you're going to make some stuff up. All right. How much are you going to charge, that is you, the web designer, are you going to charge the business to build their site? Now, what figures did Jim quote as to how much it would cost to make a website? $60. 60 $200. 200 an hour. 200 an hour. And you need to work out roughly how many hours it's going to take to develop the site. Let's say a crude figure, 20 hours. Now, is that the end of the money associated with creating this system? What other costs are involved here? Okay. So update costs, yep. What else? Um, interesting question. Bill, uh, Jim might decide that the amount of time he would need to be trained in Dreamweaver, that it, he's best off just paying someone to update it for him. All right, so that's potentially what a lot of businesses do. What's his skill? His skill is in making good cupcakes, right? He does not need to diversify into being a web designer. Someone else can do that job for him, and he'll pay for it. What he wants to do is make good cupcakes and sell them, okay? So if you're going to update his website for him, how much are you going to charge? All right. Polly. Um, oh, I was just say Other costs? Yeah. Um, he needs to pay for the domain every year. Very good. The domain is vanilla cup cakery. <laughs> dot com dot au. Now you need to find out how much it costs to have a domain name dot com dot au. No, it's a flat figure, and can I suggest here, can I suggest, you're not asking him, if you go to Melbourne IT, just Google Melbourne IT, and just type in, for instance, your name, chrismorris.com.au, find out how much it is for a one, three, or five year domain name. Figure that in the cost, okay? You might choose to do the economic feasibility in a table, so like a spreadsheet table. So costs, for instance, uh, cost of the website, updates, cost, domain name, cost. The other thing is, one of the other things that you haven't thought about is web space. So where are you? Go who's going to host your site for you? And the cost associated with that. Alright, so there are some costs that you need to find out. At the end of the day, you're going to total all this information up. How much is it going to be for them to upload this website? You would give them a figure. Might be, I don't know, looking at this, might be about $5,000. Is that then economically feasible for that small business to pay $5,000 for a website? Yes or no? And then we move on to the next one. The last one then is scheduling. What do you think scheduling means? Um, time wise, is it feasible? Okay. Will a site be prepared? Be prepared in the time allocated. Now, you're judging this based on the amount of time you've been given to complete this assessment task. All right. Is it feasible to say that in that time you will have a functioning website of three to five pages for this business uploaded, ready to show him? If you believe that that is achievable, and what you can include here is refer to what? Gantt. Thank you to Gantt. Well done. Refer to the Gantt chart. Is it feasible within that time that you will have the website up and running? You can also relate it back to the economic where you said it's going to take 20 hours to complete the task. Any extra hours on top of that will be charged at X amount of dollars. Is it 
feasible to say that in scheduling you will have it done by a particular time? If you think it is, then you will say yes, it is. And then it says up here, I don't know, it's only small, it says finally make a recommendation. Your recommendation would say, I believe based on the criteria, technical, organisational, economic and scheduling, that it is feasible for the cupcakery to proceed with the information system that is the website. 